Hello, this is Nancy and welcome to Enbridge Financial Group. Let's look into the current market scenario. You would have noticed that there has been a huge downfall in Nifty for the past few days. And according to predictions made by market analysts, this kind of fall could go up to 6,200 points. And if the investors are planning to buy, you can start accumulating from 6,200 and from your overall investment, you can invest up to 30%. So what are the sectors in which we can invest? Some of the trustworthy banks like SBI and HDFC, or IT companies like Infosys and TCS, and also pharmaceutical companies like Sun Pharmaceuticals, CIPLA, and so on. However, remember, it is better to diversify in different segments. The strategy to adopt is that when everyone sells, you need to buy. Now, there are several questions raised these days. One of the question is, when the market has crashed in four to five days, will it recover in a week's time? Well, when the market falls, it falls drastically. That's what we need to remember. However, when it rises, it takes a minimum of one year to rise and recover. So as per market analysts, further fall is predicted and can go up to 6,200. And even if the market rises, it is only a temporary correction, which is a short recovery only. So if you ask, is it bullish? No, it is not bullish. Now the next question that comes to the minds of investors is, as an investor, can we invest now? Well, we cannot assure you if you can invest now, because there is no 100% guarantee or assurance given. Um, however, this is actually the selling time. So when it comes to downtrend and if it is, uh, if it breaks down to say 7,000, we can start accumulating here and we can invest up to 20 to 30%. So as of now, the market is at 8,800 and is temporary and a strong support. So even if the market has a pullback, it would reach approximately 6,200 points. And the market may further fall or rise again and make a correction and fall again. So it's important that you make an analysis of the market trend before you do a buy. Now the major question arising at this hour is, um, some, some people ask the question, what is your say on the market falling within a day? Well, that's a very good question. But before I answer that, I would like to emphasize on a few points uh, which had occurred much earlier. So the biggest plunge in Indian history was seen in the year 1992 in terms of percentage due to Harshad Mehta scam. So now Harshad Mehta was a stock broker, as you all know, who manipulated the stock market and uh, was involved in several security scam. So he was the decision maker who decided which stock should go up and which stock should come down. So it was a great disappointment to the market industry as a whole. So people were perplexed uh, and wondered if this kind of manipulations could take place and they lost trust as a whole in the stock market. The so stock market manipulation is what led to the major crash in 1992. Now what happened is SEBI intervened and brought uh, about strict regulations and acts and the insider trading was stopped completely and hence uh, the access to confidential information of any company was made illegal. Now were there similar occurrences like the 1992 case? Yes. The next similar fall started in 2008 and it lasted till 2009 January. This year was known as the Great Recession period in the history not only in India but also globally. So although it did not affect India as much, um, the global market scenario was enough to affect the Indian market as a whole. So the main cause was the bankruptcy in 2008 by the Lehman Brothers uh, the fourth largest investment bank in the United States and they had offered housing loans uh, to a great extent and were unable to recover the amount due to the recessions and these recess recessions eventually led to unemployment factor. So in 2008 
the crash in the market happened on a Monday. So the market analysts referred to it as Black Monday. Now, simultaneously, in the same year in 2008, in India, Satyam computers uh, used illegal documents and manipulated the scenario by cheating the public. So all these factors led to the collapse of the Indian market to a very great extent. Now, if you see, after 2008, there was another great fall in 2015, which was a huge blow to the Indian market as a whole. And it was a period when the country was experiencing a steady progress. So as the GDP rate of Chinese market fell to almost 50%, the businessmen faced lack of growth. The incident created a huge impact in the Indian market as well, leading to a fall for almost a year. The market crashed from 9,000 points to 6,900. After that, the market rose from 7,000 points to almost 12,300. You might have not witnessed such a downfall before. Another major reason that caused the plunge was a rise of NPA within, Indian, uh, within India's banking system and several other universal flaws which led to the increase in black money as well. Similarly, now in 2020, the current scenario is that trading has halted for the first time in 12 years, showing a vertical downflow and is termed as Black Friday because today is a Friday. So this has created panic among the investors. Further, the coronavirus epidemic has also created a negative impact due to lack of transportation frequency and also there has been a slowdown in demand and supply. Moreover, even if there is a correction in the market, it is only a temporary rise and we can expect further downfall for a longer period. Now we can see a graphical representation showing the downfall from 2008 to 2020. Okay, now let's look into the chart. If we can see that um, in 2008, uh, from 2008 to 2009, there has been a downfall in the market. And uh, approximately uh, 3,500 points went down within a span of one year. Now, this happened uh, at the time of the Great Recession in 2008, as we discussed before. And the main cause was the bankruptcy in 2008 of the Lehman Brothers. Now, when we move further to 2015, again, the market crashed within a span of one year from 2015 to 2016. And there was a downfall of approximately 2,500 points within this one year. Now, this happened, this major crash happened as the GDP rate of Chinese market fell to almost 50%, which we had discussed before. So from the beginning of 2020, we can see that there has been a bearish momentum. And according to Elliott Wave Theory, the market has touched the fifth reversal point here. You can see here. Uh, as per today's data, the Indian market recovered nearly 13% from the low after trading was halted post Nifty 50, hit the lower circuit for the first time in 12 years since 2000 crisis. So such a kind of volatility has never been witnessed before. However, we cannot say it's a stable market. Now, as of now, if you can look at the chart once again, the market is at approximately 9,950 and is a temporary and strong support. Even if the market has a pullback, it would reach 6,200 points. So what we can see is, although the current trend recovery is bullish, Overall, the momentum here is bearish. For further updates, please subscribe and stay tuned. This is Nancy signing off from Enrich Financial Group. Thank you.